Welcome to the 2822 Friday Night Football Show. Presented by Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. A high school football season to remember in 2024, the first half of the year. We were spoiled with upset galore, but in the latter half, dominant teams did dominant things. Week 10 of the Friday Night Football Show. I'm Nick Zelaya, Gianna Gali, and Elena Lacido are also here. Riverside eyeing its first undefeated season since 2008, but running into a hot Lackawanna Trail team that's won seven straight. And the Lions live and die by the running game. We all know this and showed that to Riverside, who they beat last year. Demetrius Douglas from six yards out grinds his way into the end zone, 6-0 trail. The Vikings get those six right back. Richie Koss off the tight end, the handoff. He's in for a touchdown, 7-6 Riverside. In the second quarter, that's when the Lions began growling and attacking. Isaac Ryan in for the touchdown, two points good, 14-7. Steve Jervis likes to keep defenses on their toes. Here's his boy, Tyler. Airing it out for Ryan, who reels it in for a 28-yard grab. Douglas capping off the drive with another six-yard touchdown just before the half. Lackawanna trail up 21-7 at the break. Third quarter, a lot more of the same. Isaac Ryan, eight-yard touchdown there to make it 28-7 Lions. And then later in the third quarter, Jervis airing it out to Max Kimmel. He's got a heck of an arm, and that's a great grab. He's wide open, 32-yard score. Made it 35-7. We had a mercy rule into effect. Riverside a couple late scores. But Lackawanna Trail knocks off the number five team, 42-20. You know, this group of kids haven't really missed a beat. You know, I, I knew they were going to be a special group back in camp. You know, they never missed a day. Back through two a days and even the summer workouts. You know, real good attendance. Um, and, uh, you know, I think they play real well together. Good chemistry. And um, I'm excited where the future goes. I mean, we came out very intense. You got to thank the line. Controlling the line of scrimmage was the key to this game. And the backs blocked hard. We ran hard. It was a group effort, and the score shows it. Like now, the real season begins, you know. And I think, um, you know, I think we're just hitting our stride. I really believe that, man. So, great win. Great There's win. Steve so, Service, though. You know what I mean? Talking, talking, giving the pep talk to the team after the game. Yeah, that was a good win for the Lions. All right, let's get to the Ironmen now. Number one, like I said back in August, still number one here in late October. Nine and zero hosting Sealands Grove. Matt and Patrick. And Carter Rop have built a great chemistry between the two. 15-yard connection makes a 7-0 Danville. Their defense stops Seelands Grove at the 1. And the ensuing drive, Danville only needs one play to score. Landon Kehoe, a test for his endurance. 99 yards, their longest run of the year, makes it 14-0. The Seals hanging around. Rocco Amato links up with Gavin Bastion on a 24-yard touchdown. Seelands Grove's only score of the night. The rest belong to the orange and purple. Patrick using his legs, an insane throw for Rop. The second time tonight, Danville rolls all over Seelands Grove 49 to seven. Dallas trying to keep the old shoe away from Lake Lehman, a spectacle at the Knights home field. Both teams entering tonight six and three. First quarter, Mountaineers on the move. Brady Zapatiki to Gavin Lewis. Spamming the juke button a couple there before being brought down for a solid gain. And the first score of the night belonged to Dallas. Dylan Geske right there, three yards out into the end zone. Dallas going for its seventh straight win of the season. And the big D in Dallas is legit. Lehman couldn't get any momentum on offense. Zach Williams brings down Hayden Evans for the sack. 56 showing the money and Dallas cashing in on another short touchdown run. Geske again to make it 14-0. And Dallas makes easy work of the Knights. 28 to seven is your final. The cold bucket on the line down in Mount Carmel. The Red Tornado seeing if they can defend its own field against 9-0 Shemokin. Gianna Gali is back from the Silver Bowl for more on this historic result. 